and welcome back to Real Kosher Family Living. Today we're going to do a science experiment about water displacement. That's right. And we're, the experiment is from this book, Archimedes and the Door of Science. This is a great book if you're doing classical education per um, Susan Weiss Bauer and the Well Trained Mind. Um, this is Yiska Miriam. How old are you, Yiska? Six. Six. And she's going to be reading the experiment to us. So first of all, Yiska, read to us the materials we need for our experiment. You need a large can. A large can. Here's our large can. You'll notice that this is a large bowl. A bowl works just as well for this experiment as a can. Uh, and a smaller bowl. And a smaller can or a smaller bowl. Here's our small bowl. All right. You need a scale that shows ounces. Here's a scale that shows the weight in ounces. You want to make sure that you have your scale zeroed out before you start the experiment. Um, a wooden block. A wooden block. Here's our wooden block, and it should fit in the small bowl. So you want to use a block that is big enough to weigh a significant weight on your scale, and it will also fit in your small bowl. Okay? Okay, weigh the block and weigh the large can. All right, so first we're going to weigh the block. And our block weighs 8 ounces. When you're doing a scientific experiment, you always want to take notes as you're working so you don't have to remember everything. Um, when you're older, you will take notes in a lab notebook. Um, and you'll have that for all of your science experiments. Today we're just going to use this piece of paper. So the block weighs 8 ounces. Okay? Next. Oh, next we weigh the large can, right? All right. All right. Our large bowl weighs 15 ounces. So we'll make a note of that. Bowl equals 15 ounces. Okay, great. Now what do we do? Set the small can in the large one and then fill the small can very carefully to the top with water. All right, so now you want to be very careful when you're filling the small can with water that you don't spill any of the water into the large can because that will ruin your experiment. It will ruin your experiment. Okay, so here we go. We're very carefully going to fill it to the top with water just before the point that it overflows on its own. Which is right there. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now set the block in the small can so that water in this place flows over into the large can. Alright, so here's our block. And we're going to set the block into the small can. And what happened? It displaced water. It displaced water. Water spilled, and now the block is doing what in the bowl? Floating. It's floating. You can see it there, floating in the bowl. All right. So, it's floating. Does that mean that the block is less dense than water or more dense? Less dense. Less dense. That's right. If it was more dense than water, it would just sink right to the bottom. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do this a little differently because it's very tricky to get the small can out of here without spilling more water. So I'm going to take the block out first. Still going to be tricky because it just did not displace that much water. Um. 
Placement. 